Okay, so now we're coming to a point in the form where it didn't auto-generate fields for us and we need to have these fields so that people can pick either yes or no on whether or not they want to chaperone at least one field trip. So this is where you can come over here and add fields fresh. So we're going to come and choose a radio button. Radio buttons are different than check boxes in that radio buttons people can only select one. So black and white, yes or no, male, female. Well, I guess with gender you could have other different radio buttons, but where they can only select one. So because I want them to either say yes or no, I don't want to have check boxes so that they can pick both and confuse me. So this is where I'm going to click over here and choose radio button and my mouse turns into a drawing box and it starts with a box even though it's going to be a circle. And I'm going to have that box touch my circle on the very top and the very left and then drag it out so that it hits the very right and the very bottom. That's going to make an almost perfectly sized circle and then I need to do the same for no. Okay, so once you're done with drawing your own field, you have to hit escape and you might need to click escape again to get out of that edit mode. All right, so now with these radio buttons, it's very important to see how this says it's in a generic group three and it's choice one and choice two, not yes and no. We have to fix these, not just for usability for everybody, but also for accessibility. So I'm going to double click to get into the radio button properties and I need to name this group whatever this question is. So I'm going to say chaperone. Watch when I do this and I hit tab to the next one. You can see that choice one is now a part of the chaperone group and choice two is still a part of that generic group three. It's important that you understand that all the choices for the radio buttons should be in the exact same group. So I'm going to click on group two and I'm going to change or this uh, choice and I'm going to change the group name to the exact same chaperone name. It's very important that it's the same spelling, same capitalization. And if you accidentally put a space at the end of it, then that sometimes throws people off because it would need a space on both of them, which actually you probably don't want a space. So just make sure you don't have a space at the end of it. But they need to be the exact same. And when I hit tab to move to the next option, you can see that both choices are now under the chaperone group, which is exactly what we want. Now the tool tip, these are kind of tied together now. And so the tool tip will be the same for both. So if I come in here and say, choose yes or no, and then click over here to this one, you can see it says choose yes or no. I do want to make this required and notice when I made that one required, then this one becomes required as well. So that's really important because usually this is the one field that people are so confused about and they can never make them work right. And it's because those choices are not a part of the same group and they didn't do um, some of these settings. The other thing is we're fine with all those things, but in this options right here, this is where you're going to change the choice. So choice one should be considered yes and choice two should be considered no. So if you had three or four options, you would need to set each of those options. So now you can see there's a yes radio button and a no radio button for chaperone. So you can choose which button is uh, checked by default. And down here it has that tip about, again, this should be exclusive for things where you can only pick one. So I'm going to go ahead and close these and I'm going to test this out. So again, we're going to get out of prepare mode and now I can come and choose yes or no and notice that I can only pick one. If I click on it again though, I can't deselect it. So that's just something that you need to be aware of, but that's also because this is required. And so you have to answer one or the other. So it's not like you can take this off and not have an option. So now to go back into edit mode, remember we go to all tools, prepare a form, and we need to clear the options that we just put in there. And now it's on to the next field.